to my tutorial on how to connect the Go XLR. This is the streaming PC edition without console. This is how the front is looking. It's pretty nice. Uh, this is the back of the Go XLR where you can see the XLR in line in microphone input, headphones input, line out, USB optical input and power in. Let's get started. First thing you should do is connect your microphone to the Go XLR port if you have a XLR mic. Next up, if you're not on a gaming console setup, you just simply skip the line in and uh, plug in your headphones. If you have a headset, you can choose to use a splitter or uh, in case your headset comes with the two inputs, plug it in like this. Then from your gaming computer to your line out, on the Go XLR. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna let you output sound from your streaming computer, like your microphone, to your gaming computer. Uh, next up, plug in the USB cable from the Go XLR into your streaming computer. Next up, if you don't have a console, the optical input is going to be connected to your gaming computer so that you can have crisp audio on your Go XLR from your gaming computer uh, so that your OBS picks up good audio and no background noise and then plug in the power cable and you are done with the setup. So when you first open up your Go XLR software after connecting your Go XLR, your mic setup will probably pop up. You have to go through this. The condenser mic type is what I've selected because I already because I have a condenser microphone. Make sure to select whatever you have. So if you use a headset, you should use the 3.5 millimeter here. But if you have a dynamic XLR mic, you should pick this condenser XLR mic, pick this. And my gain is at the 30. This is what works for me. Make sure your software is always up to date. That's the first thing you should make sure to check. And then in mic settings, this is my, my gate settings so whenever my mic starts picking my voice up or closes the gate make sure to pause the video if you want to copy this this is my settings simple and advanced and this is my simple equalizer settings and the advanced one i i don't really remember if i've changed a lot of these settings but you can copy this this is if you want also, I've enabled fine tune, but one thing to remember is that this will vary from your mic to my mic or and your voice. So, uh, yeah, uh, you should keep that in mind. Also, for the compressor, the same thing. This will vary from your mic to my mic, from my voice to your voice. And this is the advanced tab, and this is the simple tab. Now, the deesser will remove the s sound or if you have it to zero it will not uh, if you have it to 100 it will do it it's best to remove all the s sounds uh, i don't think it will be able to remove all the s sounds but most of them and uh, 43 is what suits me uh, that i found to be good in the mixer tab we have very awesome features like um, the faders so we can choose whatever source you want on all the four faders and also what the mute button does so i've set my channel one to the mic and also for the mic to be muted to voice chat whenever i click the mute button on my go xlr if i hold the mute button it will mute to everything that's the same with all the others so my channel two i have my voice chat on my channel two which mutes to the stream. Whenever I hold it, the mute button down, it will mute to everything again. I have my channel three to console, and the console is actually my gaming computer because the console is the optical input on the Go XLR. I've set it to mute to stream, so that if I, if I just wanted to sit and talk with my Twitch chat, I could do that by removing the gaming computer audio or console audio um, so that it would not interfere. I've set my channel 4 to music which um, is what I found to be 
the best and i've set the mute to phones which is my headphones um sometimes i have it on mute all but I, we don't really need that because we can just hold down the mute to mute it to all anyways and then the mixer there's nothing really special here besides one or two things um or three actually the microphone 100 the gain on my microphone is on 30 decibels so i have to have this on 100 percent or else it wouldn't actually pick up uh good enough sound so but that's for me these are just random um what i feel is comfortable and i change these like every day multiple times all of them so yeah and the line out is 100 this is actually my microphone going out to the gaming computer so that the microphone and audio is always 100 percent but i will be able to change that with the actual mic later so always have this 100 percent of course unless your microphone is very loud in game samples 89 percent because that's the comfortable settings for me system 58 percent i i do change this sometimes but this is the stream alerts and that kind of stuff um this is my mic monitor i don't use this because i don't like hearing myself also the bleep i don't really use it but 86 seems to be good and going into effects this is really personal preference that i couldn't tell you what you should have here because this is just the effects you can change and have fun with yourself the sampler this is where you create and save recordings that you can have on the uh, three different audio banks uh, currently I have only four sounds and I have eight more sounds available to be recorded to record it I just hold down one of the buttons and it will save it and you can always go back and edit the sound here for example you can edit the uh, waveform see how it looks whatever um, the cough button is something you can use whenever you get a phone call or whatever for example if you live together with someone else you can hold it down or set it to toggle and it will actually mute uh, when you hold the cough button the cough button is the far uh, right on the bottom here um, I just have it to hold I haven't actually been in this setting anytime uh, ever uh, this is my light lighting it's pretty much personal preference these are the faders uh, icon that's displayed on the top here and this is the pre set icons you can choose and you can also drag and drop whatever you have I have not tested that but I I guess it's all right now for the best or the most important thing routing this is where you actually choose what your stream hears all right so this is what i have for the microphone you want it to be sent to line out and chat mic line out is sending your audio to the gaming computer and chat mic is for your chats discord chat or whatever also obs and chat this is your the people you are actually talking with on discord or whatever you are using um i'm sending it to headphones and broadcast streamx when it's on streamx uh you will be able to split it out from there like it's disabled whenever you click the mute button on the fader which is pretty nice and the same with music game i don't really use because this is on my streaming computer so this fader is not in use at all and the console is your gaming computer or console whatever you have connected at the time and um, currently it's set to broadcast remix and uh, headphones which lets me hear it and the stream here as well and then system system sounds is like alerts you can also have that on the stream actually i don't know why i didn't and then the samples i want to hear the samples myself whenever i click a sample button 
and the reason why it's not on broadcast stream mix is because it's on the uh, chat mic and i have it on chat mic because i want those who i am speaking with on discord to be able to hear it too and because of this you don't really need to have it on line out i don't know why i had it on there um but yeah this is basically what you want and under here, the sampler, uh, you can choose what the sampler will actually record by en enabling or disabling this. And then, so if I wanted my own voice to be picked up by the sampler, I enable my voice. And if I only want the chat, uh, the voice chat I'm in, like other people on my Discord, I would enable this instead. Or I can en enable both or multiple. And that is basically it for the Go XLR. All right, so it's time to go into OBS here and see, um, and go into settings and audio. All right, so when you get here, there's probably some default options on. I've just disabled all of them because depending on what settings you have actually enabled on your GoXLR or in the routing tab, you don't really need a whole lot of stuff here. So for desktop audio, you don't actually need anything here, but for the mic audio, you will want your microphone and the broadcast stream mix and you can apply, click OK, and that's all you need to do. What I would do, I would play some random stuff on my gaming computer here. All right, so let's play one of my videos to check if the uh, second uh, input is picking it up and it is right that was actually from my gaming computer so we know it's it's working right and this is system audio on my go xlr if i click this it's out uh, it's it is working that is basically all you gotta do in obs but there's also more advanced ways of doing this but that's the most basic one all right guys so that's basically everything about go xlr obs and how to connect them and set them up and uh, thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the video and if you want more please comment down below if there's anything you need help with anything i didn't explain properly or or if there's something else you want me to um, make a video about or answer. Take care.